So here we are, we have a left. It's just like 5.30ish, and our five hour departure to Ottawa. I'll let you know what I'm up to when it gets a little brighter outside. Here we are, um, it's now around seven o'clock, 300 kilometers to go. So we've driven around 200 kilometers. Nice and daylight out now. We're in my dad's BMW. And so basically, I'll let you guys know what we're looking at today. Um, we're gonna be looking at a 1993 Lexus DS300 with the 2JZ Supra engine from an Aristo. And um, I'm pretty excited. It's a nice little project car. Um, it's out in Ottawa, which is was about five hours from my house. We got to get there before the Service Ontario closes. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. And we're on our way. It's raining a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't snow. And uh, maybe I'll catch up with you guys when we get to Ottawa. Not quite in Ottawa yet for my car, but just giving you guys a little update. Uh, we're here at a little en route center. We got 179 kilometers to go. It's worth it though. Here we are guys. We are just turning off of the highway now. We're only 6.2 kilometers away. 6.1. And looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. So uh, nice and close now. Alright, so here we are. We are 0.7 kilometers away. So I thought I'd show you guys the final final bit of the drive so we're here in Ottawa looking to get my car and apparently it's just on the side of the road so I don't know what to expect um, the guy's meeting us in a little bit so I've never been to this area before so that's kind of exciting something going on over here clearly and not sure if I'm gonna buy it I'm pretty positive it's a good deal I think, I think I see it right up there. So, once we get closer to it, I'll turn off the camera and show you guys in a little bit. I think I found it, it's the white car right there. Yep, here it is. All right, catch up with you guys in a sec. All right guys, here's the first look at the car. It's pretty nice, I think I like it. It's on coilovers. As you can see, there's the rims, nice and low. It's a nice tan leather interior. Haven't looked at the engine yet since he's not here. Has a black roof. The back end, there is the Aristo. It has these twin exhaust. Here's the other side of the car. Pretty much no rust except for this little spot right here. This is a 1993, remember? That's pretty crazy good condition. And yeah, so I'll catch up with you in a second. Hey guys, sorry I didn't have time to show you guys earlier, but uh, turns out I liked the car. And so yeah, here we are. It's now around 150-ish. And here we are driving home. Yep, there's the boost gauge. Gotta love, gotta love the boost gauge. Never had one of those before. There's my dad's car up there in the BMW. So yeah, that's right. I bought myself a 1993 GS300 with the uh, 2JZ GTE Aristo motor. It's a single turbo. And I'll do a walk around of the car when I get it back to my house in about four hours. See you then. Okay, so here we are. It's actually about a week later. I did, kind of ran out of time and it got dark before I knew it. Got a haircut if you can't tell. Just in case you're wondering. So I'll do a quick walk around of the car now. I won't go into too much detail, but if you guys are car fans, let me know. So it has two double four and a half inch exhaust. Japanese, like the JDM spec Aristo taillights. As you can see, it has a Lexus badge. It has this really cool black roof. I really like it. Come down here to the tires. They're on these CSA alloy wheels and coilovers. As you can see, the gap there is really tiny. Bit of a stiff ride, but nice and low looking. Uh, inside, I've been doing some work on it, so it's a little bit tossed around. 
I've been doing some ECU engine work. It is automatic, but oh well. Uh, leather the whole bit, but that might change if I'm doing some weight reduction. Let me show you guys the engine real quick. So here's the engine. This is of course the 2JZ GTE. I'm in the process of taking it apart to switch out the turbo. So, well of course here's the ECU. There's the big uh, four inch air intake for my turbo right here that I took off. Cause right now it has just a eBay turbo. And of course there's the intercooler down there. And so I'm trying to replace it with an actual good turbo. So yep, there's the engine. So it's popped up right now and I got this thing because these hood struts aren't very good. I have more right here. Anyway, so basically that's the car I bought. Hope you guys enjoy this little vlog. And if there are other car people out there that might want to see more or my progress on this project, uh, let me know. I'd love to show you guys more stuff on this car if you're interested of course. So let me know in the comments below what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy my car. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.